Megan Olivi here with Rafael Sunsao, who just won his bantamweight debut here in Brazil against Johnny Eduardo. Rafael, I have to ask you about the weight cut first. This is your first fight at bantamweight, and I know you had some trouble making 45s before. How was the cut, and how did you feel in the octagon? I felt great. Uh, the weight issue was, was pretty funny because uh, my last fight, uh, I couldn't make the 145. I, it was just uh, a bad diet uh, with a bad uh, weight reduction. And uh, I felt great at bantamweight. I felt that I, I was able to recover uh, most, most of my weight, even as a bantamweight. And uh, I felt great in there. I mean, it was a little, you know, a little uh, fine, you know, fine adjustment. But uh, in the long run, I was, uh, as the fight went on, I was able to adjust. My power was there. And uh, I feel great, you know, a new journey. Uh, I think the UFC for, for, the, uh, the new, for another opportunity. Uh, as, as I'm coming off, uh, coming off that uh, quick knockout loss to Eric. And uh, I felt great, great training camp. I had everybody supporting me. Uh, I changed some things, felt great. Do you feel like this weight class is more of a, a natural uh, fighting weight for you? Because a lot of guys in 35s are about your size. Right, definitely, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty natural. Uh, obviously, I, I was dehydrated as everybody. Um, cutting weight but I felt great I think this this is where I should have been a while it was good until it lasted at me as a featherweight uh, I, I guess yeah, until it lasted I got really close to a title shot uh, fighting Uriah and it was a great experience uh, I didn't feel overpowered uh, I felt he was more experienced when I fought him at featherweight and uh, I, I feel uh, bantam weight it's just a new journey and I feel great I want to thank God first and then all my new uh, teammates and teams and new camp and feel great. New camp, are you not at the same camp in Atlanta as you were before? I'm not in Atlanta. I went to Florida for this camp at the Armory over there with uh, Edson Barbosa, uh, Luis Kane, and uh, some of my friends that are already there and I had a great time. You know, I left the house, I left my house in Atlanta. I was there for a month and a half, for five weeks actually, and uh, every, everything was great. Everything was ready until the last minute of the fight. Everything was perfect. Uh, so uh, once I get into the cage, it was all up to me. That's it. Everything was perfect, all up to when I walk up into the cage. So I was able to do my job. What made you want to change camps? I mean, you've been in Atlanta for a long time. Yeah, well, uh, you know, thank to God, you know, I have a pretty good life in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, my fiance and two dogs and, and, and I've got like, uh, you know, I've got like a, a weekend car. So I, I was like, uh, what's, what's, what's the right word? That was too, uh, too comf like too, too comfortable, you know, I wasn't as focused. Um, you know, I trained hard. I trained six hours a day regardless. But uh, so you, need, you need a little bit more than that, you know, to be in the, in the biggest stage in the world. And I was able to uh, focus a lot more just going to training camp. All right, Rafael, you live in the States now, but you were born in Brazil, and this crowd is crazy. I mean, the arena's pretty much packed already. What was it like to fight and then win in front of your home country fans? It was a big pleasure. I mean, as far as uh, professionalism, it was pretty equal. Uh, I love fighting in Vegas. Uh, as far as uh, my, my home country, it was an extra... Uh, uh, well, it wasn't, you know, it was an extra pleasure, but uh, I mean, I didn't feel that it was the same thing. It was the same, no added pressure. Obviously, my dad was in the crowd and everybody's watching me on, on open cable here in Brazil, but I felt great, you know. Uh, you know, I, I was focused the same way if, as if he was in any other fight, though, I'm not going to lie, but uh, a little, little extra, you know, I, with, you know, on the heart part, you know, I felt great. All right, well, congratulations. Go celebrate. Thanks. Keep checking Heavy.com for more UFC Rio coverage.